Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to How to EP. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I appreciate all of you guys. Sorry for the two year delay on the next episode of uh, the series, but uh, if you guys uh, follow me on Twitch or on Discord, which by the way, feel free to check me out on Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Oh, well, she's hot. So you're gonna have to go now. See some funny oh, content no of me role playing almost every yes second way. day. You hire uh, her? You guys want to check out the Discord, yeah, she showed me her titties. They're huge. You have to hire her. What the fuse over there? If you guys have missed it, if you guys have uh, just been following the channel, haven't been following along on the other social, to make sure to check them out. Um, I've been very busy these past years, so that's why I've been all over the place and packs and videos have been lacking on, on all the cords. But here we are again. Today we're going to be covering arguably the most important topic of it all, which all of you guys have been dreading to uh, get a video on, which is texturing. And how do you texture while keeping uh, the details of the base EUP textures, for example, or the models textures to make it look realistic? Uh, so it doesn't look like it's a paint fill uh, UP package. Today we're going to be covering that. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, so make sure you guys follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord, ask any questions. Other than that, make sure to put the comments down below. I will most likely answer them in the comments more than I will in the Discord. Um, so let's get right into it. Most importantly, you guys will need to have some prerequisites. Uh, the prerequisites you will need for this is you'll have open IV. You will need to go ahead and have EUP Patreon to have access to the brand new EUP models, unless you already have access to them. If you already have access to them, then you're good. You'll need Open IV. You will need to have a copy of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, you will have will need to have some sort of uh, editing software, whether it's Photoshop or Paint.net. I will be for this purpose be using paint.net because it's a free version. I want to make this video accessible to as many people as possible um, and have it be the less costly investment for all of you guys. It's possible to do it on paint.net. If you know what you're doing on Photoshop, you will have absolutely no issues at all following along on Photoshop. Uh, the idea behind it on the functions that you use are very, very similar. Um, so make sure that you guys follow along. But if you do have any questions, Feel free to let me know if you do want to have a Photoshop edition for this as well. I can definitely do one. I might make one just for Nitro Boosters in my Discord. So make sure you guys join the Discord and check out the Nitro Booster perks you haven't already. That might be one of the things that's going to be coming in there just for Nitro Boosters. All right, so let's get straight into it. First and foremost, you'll need to go ahead and have uh, your Open IV. In Open IV, you want to have your um, GTA linked by default. And you want to go ahead and have your EUP installed from EUP Patreon. If you don't know how to do that, please follow the tutorial that comes with EUP Patreon on how to add the open IV directory to your GTA slash to your open IV. I will not be covering that. Right. Mods update x64, DLC packs, EUP, DLC RPF, and then I have all my EUP right here. Um, this should be the same for you guys. If you guys installed into your mods directory, which I recommend if you install your EUP, please install it into your mods directory. Do not install it into your base game files. Uh, here's the mods directory. Here's where the EUP is. We're going to go ahead and we're going to manipulate the textures of a regular uniform. Um, so for those that don't, I already know this off the top of my head. You can find the base uniforms under this DLC pack right here. Import export 01. Um, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use a random a random texture, right? So to get a random texture, you're just going to go ahead and go to just one of these and you're going to have this texture. It doesn't matter what it is really in its entirety. You just want to make sure you have one of these textures. Um, so you want to go ahead and press export selected or export all textures. Just choose any texture at all. It does not matter uh, as long as you have it, as long as it's associated to this uh, uniform to make it as easy as possible. And you want to go ahead and export it. Export it into a folder that you want. I have a tutorial folder set up. I already have it exported over here, so I don't need to do it again. So once you have this exported, the next thing you're going to go and do is the thing that most people do not know about texturing. Now, you will need to remember this because this works with absolutely everything. And remember, this does only just work with 5M. If you work with other game engines like I have in the past, you will understand that normal maps are the sole um, and ideal way uh, of manipulating your textures to make them look as good as possible. Now you wonder how they made them look like this. You wonder where they had all these indents from and all this and how they can see all of this. Let me show you guys. 
very simple. So let's just say 007, this right here is a short sleeve uniform. Let's go ahead and go to the model, the YDD, which if you don't know what YDD and YTDs are, I suggest you guys go ahead and check out my previous video on essential basics of how to EUP. Check that out. And I cover all of that in there. We're going to open the, the model for it right here. Sorry, it's not a short sleeve. It's a long sleeve without the tie. Um, here you have the base uniform from the EUP team. Um, now, at the bottom right right here, if you don't know, you've probably seen all this before, but you never know what it is. You have view embedded textures. Now, these textures are embedded into the uniform in its entirety. So they're not in the texture dictionary. They're already part of the uniform. You can view which ones are in here by just clicking on it. So right here, we have a specular map and we have a normal map. These are the two different textures that are attached. We're going to go ahead and export both of these guys. So for that, you're going to press export embedded textures. You're going to choose your folder and you're going to select folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. So make sure you guys export these textures and then we'll get right into it. Now, let's go and open these up in paint.net so I can explain to you guys the whole idea behind it. So here you have your base texture, texture that I exported, for example. And then here, right here, you have um, the normal map. Now, as you can see, the normal map, it already has all these fine details. If you were going to go ahead and compare it to this right here, you can see that the pockets are right here on the normal map and the pockets are right here on the texture. So they go hand in hand and they look very nice. Now, if you put uh, one and one together now, you'll be able to realize that people use somehow use this normal map to go ahead and make textures that somehow end up looking very nice this way i will say there's a variety of ways of doing this this is the way that i personally adapted making my eup um i will very blatantly very simply be explaining to you guys how i did these textures without having to actually uh, go through the full process when i do textures i do take my time i do do a couple edits to it um regarding opacity regarding hue and saturation and whatnot i will very simply be explaining the concept of this now what i do is you have a normal map right here first and foremost you want to go ahead and you want to see what the resolution is now this is entirely up to you the resolution that is relatively normal as uh, this right here is what we call 1080p usually this is 1080p quote quality quote unquote this is how most developers would refer to this um for your information 1080p in game it will not look entirely super crisp um but it does look, it does look, it's acceptable. This is very dependent on what your need is. If you're going to use this for a server and you have a lot of members, and by a lot, I mean like you have a server with 64 people on at all times, for example, you will most likely want to have clothing that is 1080p. You will most, you can probably get away if you have a well-optimized server with having 2K clothing. 2K resolution is, is if I go to buy percentage resize, set it to 200, this right here is a resolution of 2k 2k clothing is higher quality obviously but in return your server is going to be uh using more of its resources to go ahead and stream those clothing if you have a lot of cops in a lot of dense areas you will have at times maybe lower frames for example your plays might have lower frames and or your server is going to be pumping out more resources to go ahead and stream all these clothes so it's entirely up to you if you are for example just playing on lspdfr and you want to make a pack for yourself go right ahead and increase this by another 200 and make it 4k because in its entirety it does not matter you actually just want to have an experience for yourself you want to have a nice clothing pack in return so 4k pack is completely fine and is not going to hurt you in any way shape or form so for the purposes of this video for example we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and downscale it from 4k to 2k so we'll do by percentage 50 percent and we'll be back at 2k we're just going to go 2k you've got to make sure that your normal map matches what you actually want your package to be what level of quality first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this whole right side right here we're going to grab the right side and we're just going to go ahead and delete it and make it transparent so control x right here to make it transparent because this is where the patches are so we don't want this to be there other than that you're going to go ahead and press control a and you're going to go to adjustments and black and white you want to go ahead and make sure that this is just grayscale and all and this is it this is all you need to do you're going to go ahead and save this now besides that there is all these settings right here these you probably have never dived into 
doesn't really matter save it with whatever it is just press ok to save it as it is now you're going to go to your base texture now here is where the important part comes in you're going to go ahead and open your folder you're going to grab your normal map that you have and you're going to go ahead and drag it in you're going to add it as a layer and now you've got it right here now thankfully this is already 2k so we didn't have to do anything else so now you've got two layers you've got the background right here which is a texture and then you've got on top of it the normal map now how do we translate it to work now the way you can do it right here in the most simplest ways by double right clicking the layer and you want to go ahead and send the blend mode to multiply and or overlay it's entirely up to you this really depends on how you want to go ahead and it really depends on the color that you're going for if you have something you know you can see by if i do multiply i will end up having a darker texture if i do overlay i'll end up having a lighter texture we're going to go ahead and do overlay as you can see this has in its entirety already by itself enhanced the texture quality of the whole package just by just by adding the normal map so if we remove that you guys can see the difference that the normal map has on the package in itself now you want to go ahead and for example i am this is not how i do my textures but i will just show as an example how the normal maps work you guys can do this for yourself do your proper textures be careful make sure you keep all of these right here make sure when you're filling in your your color that you're going to be going with you, you extract these and you keep all the details and all that stuff however i'm just going to be showing you guys how the color scheme works so we're just going to go with a completely random color right here let's just go ahead and go and I'm just going to go for the purpose of the video, just pink. All right. As you can see, pink right here. And no matter what color I make this right here, it's going to keep the details of what I wanted initially. So I'm going to go to paint bucket right here. And I'm going to make this red. Actually, let me go with a, like a darker color, something you can see depict. So as you can see, no matter what color I choose, ultimately, the details are going to be there. So this is how you can make textures by keeping the different details of the map and by manipulating the normal map and to make it go hand in hand with your texture file in its entirety. Now, many of you just tend to ask me on my Twitch and my chat and whatnot. They're like, hey Liam, don't you use templates? Well, I personally don't use templates. I know a lot of developers create templates, but in my opinion, that is a very lazy way of going to the development. If I work on a new project, it needs to be new from its ground up. It needs to be efficient. It needs to work well. It needs to fit in. The colors need to be different. A base template is going to make every uniform look the same. But for me, if I want to add extra shading in some parts, if I want to go ahead and add a hue to a certain part of the uniform, a template is not going to help me with that because a template is going to have one that's going to blow out these packs all the time and it's just going to have the same feel to it. It's not going to have a level, different level of detail and different parts or shadows and under the pockets, for example next to the badge make the badge stand out a little bit more it's really dependent so i don't use templates i make mine from scratch just like this every single time so this right here for example is let's just say you created your texture right from here on out you want to go ahead and save it um i save mine as dds's at all times always save yours as dds's if you guys save them as pngs you're gonna put yourself at risk of facing compression issues if you guys don't know what compression issues are it's if you guys have seen it on uniforms before it's basically if you have a black uniform and you see a little bit of green and purple on it yeah that's a compression issue that's a problem that means you saved your texture as a png instead of a dds and you use a very wrong compression uh, compression dictionary which is not really going to be of much use to you so i do dds i'll save and i'll say and i'll go ahead and replace the old one now here's another important part for texturing this is important for you to know right here by default this will be set to d sorry bc2 it will be sent to it, by default this should be set to dx5 i think yeah, right here bc3 linear dxt5 this is the compression dictionary uh that basically pumps out um your textures at eight bits per second um this texture dictionary is not ideal to use because once again, you will face A, compression issues, and B, you are gonna be lacking a little bit on the quality of what you actually want. Now, please do remember, uh, please do remember, this is also, once again, very dependent on what your server needs are. 
I usually like to go with a high quality preset on exporting my textures for this specifically. For example, I can go with a 1080p resolution, but I will go ahead and export mine as this right here. BAG8, R8, A8, etc. Linear, A8, R8, etc. All this. This is the this is what I go with, for example. So this is a high quality export with a moderate quality resolution. You can, for example, also do a 4K resolution and also select the same preset if you want. For example, like I said, it's very dependent. So the higher your quality is going to be, remember, the more your server is going to work, the more resources your server is going to spend. So I'll just go ahead and I'm going to select this. I'm going to press OK and I'm going to set flatten. It's going to go ahead and merge the layers. And then I have my texture right here. And then you can go ahead and apply the texture as you want. So for example, if I want to go ahead and go and apply it, you just go ahead and select any texture right here, right? You're gonna go and drag and drop it. Doesn't matter what the name is ultimately, as long as you delete one of them. Remember a texture dictionary for clothing can only have one texture inside it, otherwise it will crash. And then you wanna to go to properties and your MIP map levels. This is another thing that you wanna go ahead and remember. MIP map levels are dependent on, once again, the amount of quality that you want. Um, the higher your MIP map levels are going to be, uh, the more precise or the more uh, sharpened your texture will look. Once again, your pixel format, if you didn't do it in DXT5, it will be a, this one right here. You can still change it to DXT5 if you want. Uh, bitmap levels, I personally set it to 6 right here. This is a fine line between having something that's relatively sharpened while not being too blurry. So I set it to 6 or 7. Really, it just depends if I do badges, it's usually up to 8. I press OK and you save it. And just like that, you have created your texture, you can put it in game and you will see it will have all those shadows you want, all of that that you ultimately want to have um, for your nice EP textures. Uh, this works with absolutely everything, with pants, anything at all. You go to any model right here, you'll be able to go here, view embedded textures, and once again, it has a normal map, you'll be able to create a high quality texture for it, no matter what. Practice, ask questions. And if you do have any questions, put them in the comments or ask on the Discord or feel free to watch me on Twitch. Ask questions there. I'm happy to answer on the go. So I appreciate you guys for stopping by today. Hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying the video. If you guys like the video, make sure that you guys recommend it. Show it to your friends and go ahead and drop a like in the bottom right there. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. If this was helpful or not helpful, let me know. Whatever you guys want to see next, do let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to model and how to rig in GTA 5. I'm gladly to show you guys how to do that. No more gatekeeping from all these developers. We're going to show you guys how to be one of us and be able to go ahead and expand your knowledge and your skills to go ahead and apply them to create the best server that you guys want. I appreciate you guys for dropping by. I was your boy Oli Mar, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.